Everybody said it was an accident. Everybody. A fire in the ghost train at Luna Park one cold winter's night, 9th of June 1979. That's what we're all led to believe, and that's what I believed. That's what I was fed, and that's what I believed. A fire started in the ghost train at approximately 10, 10 p.m. Saturday the 9th of June. More than 30 people were riding the train when attendants saw black smoke pouring from entries and exits of the building. Seconds later, empty carriages emerged in flames. At this stage, there was no idea how many people were trapped inside. It's unknown how many people are actually dead in there at the moment. One lucky 12-year-old schoolboy who's still under sedation narrowly missed riding on the ghost train at the time of Saturday night's inferno. Four of his schoolmates from Waverley College were among the seven who perished. Jason Holman says he got in the carriage behind his mates and when the fire was noticed, the attendant managed to haul him out. My friends engulfed in flames. They died just in front of me. I asked myself, why did I survive and not them? Why me? I ask myself that nearly every single day. For 40 years, I've always just wondered what actually happened to my four friends that night. Jonathan Billings, Seamus Rahil, Richard Carroll and Michael Johnson. It's taken me 40 years to find this opportunity to finally tell my story. This is a day that I've been building to for such a long period of time and here it is. I chose to talk about this and enter into it and it's going to be tough. I hope that more light is shone on finding out some answers.